Okay, maybe I'm more of a finger than a clit. Um, but I want to jump on the super bean idea. Love it. Um, so it makes me think there's all of humanity. That is one super bean. That can also be considered the universe or whatever. You know, it's just like everything is one super bean. And then you have the subcategories. You have the hands, the arms, the heart, the whatnot, right? Um, and I, I just think it's like... It's not like a hand, maybe. Maybe it's just like this smaller bean. And then you've got the smaller beans that attach to the larger bean, or we can also attach a larger bean. Like, I feel like there's some meta kind of visual with this here, right? Um, but I like it. So one thing that I remember learning about the stretching stuff that I did was that since we're all types and there's 16 different, um, ideally 16 different meridians and types that associate with it. So we can be 16 different characteristics and and needs and blah, blah 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 so there's 16 different separations that we can kind of separate ourselves into and some are like out of balance or some are very in balance or some are high some are low um when we get together so i'm a thymus if i meet my uh, balancing muscle group which is an appendix um we can create a new organism um so there's actually a chart that bob cooley who did the stretching stuff made which is very mathematical that shows what kind of new person you create when your type and another type comes together. Um, so you got two people and it's like you look on the chart, bam, okay, this type plus this type creates a stomach, this type plus this type makes a spleen. And so you can actually look at the characteristics that are underneath each um, muscle group and you know each meridian and, and, and what are the characteristics of that. If you make that meridian per se, or you make that muscle group combining two things or more together, uh, you can look at those traits. So some people that come into a group and they have these particular traits together, or high notes or personalities, when they come together, they create almost a completely different personality. Um, and then you've got four people and that creates a different personality. And then you've got five people, that creates a different personality. Like it's this weird algorithm and cocktail. Um, but I like the breakdown of it. It's like, no, we're actually coming from a whole. We're all little bits of it. So it's almost like the idea of when we have a study group together, uh, we're able to look at, say, an object. Um, this was some hefty milligrams. So <laughs> we're able to look at an object. And I can look at it from this angle. And I see a barcode. You look at it from this angle and you see a little design. Now we can start to create and see more. Just like how other people can see our blind spots, we can get different perspectives through our lenses, through our experiences, through what we are passionate about and being called to. And when we share that with each other within our passion, we pick that up. I think, I think that's where I see very similar themes in a lot of people. Like, I see so much more ADHD popping up. Maybe it's my Instagram feed. But like, talking about this stuff, seeing things that are more supportive, um, seeing more people working on like very similar stuff. And so, and I always feel like, you know, you, you end up being on something that I'm on the flow with. It's like, yeah, we are part of that same organism. And that's combining like, I mean, oh, Transformers. It makes me think of Transformers. You know, it's like when you have the cars and they, and they all come together and they turn into the big Decepticon or whatever the fuck it's called. Um, butchering that like nobody's business uh not gi joe all i hear in my head is gi joe <laughs> i'm understanding my tangents a little bit more now that i'm exploring the stuff though um yeah i dig it i like it i like it i like it yes cool hey.